All right, so we are here at Corona's Haunt, new Christmas haunt for the 2021 season. I'm here with Mason and Joe, the Hi. creators of this incredible haunt. Um, can you walk us through what you guys did this year? Absolutely. So this year is a Christmas nightmare, basically just a bunch of themes matched up to one little mini haunt. We just had fun with it. So this first room is going to be, what do we call it? A blizzard. A win like a demented winter wonderland. A blizzard came and struck the original Halloween facade. Yeah. And this is what is left of it. Yeah, I was like, I recognize the facade. Yeah, yeah we like to she recycle. Never came, she never came down. <laughs> and the immersion you guys just bring to your sets is incredible. Like, you won't believe that this is in your backyard. Like, you can see the roof right here, but normally going through, you can normally, like, not tell. Don't look at that. <laughs> but yeah, this is really, um, what to do is just lighting and just adding on to it. Like, everything here is just like, with the snow right here is actually just cotton. That's all it is. Yeah, it looks super real. I was like, ooh. The ice icicles are actually just tin foil painted white, and then it's frosted everything with the can. Tin foil is your best friend. Oh, I love, love tin foil. You use tin foil for almost anything. Oh, yeah. And since you probably remember, this was actually our first scare from Tales of Halloween, so we didn't actually want to put a scare here, so we said just keep this room as a set. Yeah. Alone. So we just did a frozen dummy. I kind of took inspiration from Krampus. Oh. <laughs> a lot of us actually inspired by Krampus. This is actually the witch head that was in the witch facade. Oh. So more are reusing. <laughs> This is actually our tree lot area. Um, our friend of ours, Taylor, actually is the one that wanted a tree lot in a Christmas haunt, and I didn't say no, so I was like, well, screw it, let's do it. So we did it, and we actually paid a little bit of a homage to our um, past maze in 2020 to shout him out right there. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's a fun little set here with all the trees and snow. Oh, yeah. Sick. <laughs> Really <laughs> so we took this area like as a I don't know, old Christmas, so like a Victorian Christmas. I don't know what kind of year it is, but I just wanted to do an old older themed Christmas, so that's so why we put that up. Because actually this radio is from Pirates Cave. Ooh, and I kind of recognize this audio, no? Didn't you do some work on this hot, right? Yeah, just blew uh, the radio and I did their trigger scare for the next scare you'll see in a sec. His work is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so you got the fireplace, the radio, the candles. I had to put the candles in there because I'm a huge candle person. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like candles? I know. They'll have garlands on them. We actually got all these garlands from Hobby Lobby. That was our best friend. But... I knew Mason disappeared, I was like, I wonder if the scare is coming. <laughs> um, that actually brings up to the next part. Spacing for this, we actually used every single inch in Crank and Daddy in this garage here. I, so yeah, a lot of people thought they were yeah. in the house in this part. But yeah, I noticed the, yeah, I the motor, that. yeah. The I actually hated this part because it was so hard to, I don't know how to cover this I, while the garage yeah. like not touching it, so it's what we could have done. Yeah. But it's a giant little present box, and again, this is like inspired by like a Krampus scene, like all the toys in my life, because yeah. she was a scare by Christmas toys. I know. The most recognizable doll in all you guys' haunts. That would be like a little Easter Bunny in all our bases. Yeah. The first time I think I saw you guys was Sweet Tooth, and I saw the doll, I'm like, yeah, he was gonna have a boiler. Yeah, I was like, hmm, I wonder if this will come in future years. I think it's my favorite maze of him being in this actually. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, he fits in better. Actually, another prop too. Um, this right here is actually from our Silent Hill maze, Robbie the Rabbit. Oh! Yeah, a lot of people didn't really recognize it, but yeah, this is from Silent Hill right here. And of course, it's a Christmas maze wow. about the North Pole, right? So, again, another demented like, nightmare version of the North Pole and into, like, the Santa's workshop. Again, another inspiration from Krampus, you know, part of the snow globes and all that. And yeah. This is where I kind of like, oh. I actually wanted more toys in here, but I mean, I have enough time. Yeah. But again, this is just paper and candles. It was really actually simple, but we light it and how you put the audio in. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at the scene. Let's see it, Mason. Try to find that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't find the freaking pedal. <laughs> yeah. So that is a Christmas nightmare. It was a fun little mini hop we did. Oh yeah. It's a nightmare. <laughs> For the holiday season. It was fun. It was a lot of fun actually. I actually enjoyed it more than I thought it would. Oh yeah. That was our first first Christmas haunt actually. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. We would definitely want to do a bigger one now. A whole long Christmas. I want to do a full Christmas haunt. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when time comes. We're yeah. just getting our feet wet, that's all. Yeah. yeah definitely definitely st stepped away from the dark shows to give it more of a dark, yeah. you know, walk through. And is this the last haunt we're seeing here on this location? Or are you know. moving up? No? That's going to be a question mark for now. Yeah, that's, uh -huh. a, that's a big question mark for now. For now, yeah. yeah we'll see how, uh, how things treat us in of 2022. Course. Yeah.